Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another indie horror game. This is Creepy Shift, Volume 1, Roadside Diner, where once again, we'll be playing someone who is broke and needs a job. And wouldn't you thunk it, here's a roadside diner that's wanting some help with people wanting to do inventory taking and just generally helping out. So, let's get into it. Oh. That would be us on the bus, I guess. It was early autumn. A dense fog was slowly drifting over the marshes along Route 285 in New Mexico, occasionally revealing the reflection of a strangely red moon. Before midnight struck, I lit up my favorite cigarette and stared with disgust at the roadside diner. I was going to spend the entire night there, washing dishes and doing some minor inventory work, whatever that meant. I decided not to complain after all. The job was exceptionally well paid. In just one night, I could earn enough to pay off two installments of the loan that had tied my hands, along with the unplanned fatherhood. I see the bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way. Well, I'm in control. I gotta say, I like the voice acting so far. I like the general aesthetic. Based on creepy pastas as well. So this is the bus that has apparently dropped me off. So... Off you go. Off you go, I guess. Wow. This looks like a murky place. Yeah, the blood red moon. Which is not bloody just yet. Open 24 hours. Tasty food here. Hmm. Well, let's, uh... Gotta see it to believe it first, right? Locked. Find the kitchen door to get inside the building and find the silver key. Okay. With the... That's the trash there. Oh. Oh, look. We got our recycling. We got our glass. Okay. Yeah. Ah. This would be the kitchen door. We're going to close this behind us now. We're, yeah. Oh, it's very dark. There's the light switch. Okay. Here we go. Right. Wow. Okay. Oh. Lots of things happening. Hello? Hey, this is Eddie from the first shift. Hey, Eddie. Listen, kid. You really shouldn't be here tonight. But... Look, I know how this is going to sound, but I got a bad feeling. Like weird shit might happen. Don't go around Do tonight. We're bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. I left one for you in the kitchen. I found it last year when I was doing extra hours. And let's just say strange things were happening back then. Though most likely, everything should be okay. Just focus on your job. The list of your duties is on the board. Take care. Well, geez, thanks, Eddie. I mean, to be honest with you, did I just take the phone? I guess I did. About food. Ah, the 1997 version. Hang on. Right, I have to get my bearings here. Win a gourmet cooking set. Yeah, mm, nice. Okay, I'll put you back. Uh, your favorite haunted please? Place, yes. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, and a phone book. Will this come in handy for some reason? Oh. All right. Well, he was saying, well, let's... Oh, God. This place is a mess. If someone called you, the previous shift owner, and said, like, hey, I've got a feeling some weird shit's going to go down tonight, you go, get the hell out of it. Hey, dumbass, who agreed to work with Night Shift? If you managed to finish this job alive... Hmm. It would be cool if you could do some of these tasks. Put the goods on the shelves, clean the tables, clean the floors, close all the blinds. Please take out the trash. The more you get done, the more extra money you'll earn. Right, so, are we saying... Ah, uh, I like that it's highlighting where you need to put things. If only life was work like that. Each little cola can, five cents. What have we got here? Box of oranges. Oh, I see, yeah. I'm just racking and... Oh, let's get the shift done. He did say it was going to be paying extra. And this seems like the kind of job that... I don't know. You wouldn't be getting paid a lot for this. Um, right, we've got toilet paper. We haven't experienced... Let's just... Let's get... Sort out the kitchen first. Sort out the kitchen. Gotta put the ketchup on, and what we got? Some flour. Oh, I see something there. And one flour. 
What do we got here? Creepy. In case of Blood Moon Knight, please keep the exterior doors closed. Don't let the jukebox play music. There's something off about this music. It feels like it doesn't want you to leave the restaurant and wants you to stay here forever. Relive in the same night. Huh. Also, open doors are like an invitation for the devil. Please keep them shut. Okay, and we have... What was that key? It was green. So I'm assuming here. Uh, this must... No, this looks like a... Okay. A locker room. Oh. Is it going to be one of those games? Are we hiding from things? I need the red key. I've got the green key. So I'm not Howard. Ah, Agnes. I want to believe... Oh, we've got a holy bible here. The Holy Bible is a sacred text offering spiritual guidance and wisdom. It presents the teachings of God, the life of Jesus Christ, and stories of faith, redemption, and salvation. Timeless source of inspiration for millions. It continues to shape belief and values worldwide. Hmm. But nothing... Nothing that can kind of help me. Well, maybe the Bible will help me. Brock. Misty. Angela J. Eddie. Ah. Oh, Eddie. You naughty boy. Pause boy. I'm a naughty pause boy. Right, we've got a flashlight and the dining area keys. Red moon phase. Ah. So this was Eddie, the one that called us. Franz Grossman, an expert in occultism and Nazi Germany's history, has spent years researching the impact of esoteric practices on the Third Reich, publishing numerous works in the field. I'm getting the feeling... Oh. That Eddie was maybe... Maybe a little bit paranoid. Maybe had that kind of thing of, um... Oh. Here we go. Right. I hear a ticking. Well, this must be... Ah. Okay, this is the dining room. This is the main section. Okay, I'll tell you what. You said close all the blinds, right? Ah, oh, just... Just getting 25 cents for doing that? Oh, no, I lost it. Oh, no. Don't want to do that. Put it back down. Close it. That's already closed. That's already closed. We're going to close all the blinds. We're going to be meticulous in our... We're going to close all the blinds first. Yep, there we go. Done that. Done that. Those are already closed. Those are already closed. We don't want the, the beasties getting in, right? We don't want the beasties looking at us from inside the window. So the first port of call is going to be to shut all the blinds. And therefore, no one will see us from the outside. And we're earning money. I like, it's got that kind of, um, we harvest the moon element to it. This is the jukebox, right? So what was the thing saying? Is the time ticking down? No, it's still 58. Don't let the juke, mu jukebox music play. All right, we'll, we'll do. Um, what have we got here? Oh, we have to, oh, we've got a key. Key to the bathroom. Did I see the bathroom anywhere? Ah! There we go. Oh, we got some... Oh, let's clean this up. Huh? Come on. Hey. Oh, I see. Someone sprinkled when they tinkled and they weren't sweet and they didn't wipe the seat. Um, let's just see what we've got while we've got the mop. Yeah, got some stains here. We've cleaned out the kitchen so far. Why is the dirty footprints? Were they there to begin with? Don't know. Ah. Key to front and back doors. Okay, so we've got all the keys now. We're gonna. There's a lot of cleaning up to do here. Um, but so far, I'm hearing noises. And I've got to turn off the music. Got to turn off the music. Be quiet, you. Right. Check your tip. Ah, nineteen dollars. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't sound like it's, 
you know, great. Oh. Let's put all the food away. Nice. Um, ah, toilet now. Would that be? Yes, it would. Great. So, oh, I see. We've got to clean the tables, make sure everything is accounted for. Oh. Okay, the lights just went off. As long as I don't have to find a fuse box. There's a lot of Bibles around as well. Don't know why there's so many Bibles. We're just doing a job. Making sure everything... Throw that in the wash. Wow, a lot of people just leaving a lot of food around. I'm trying to be systematic with this. I think I'm being a good employee so far. Oh, dishwasher is full. What do we... Ah. Oh, very nice. Trash bag, general. Ah. Did we... We have the... No, we don't. We need to find the red key. So where's... Oh, there's boxes over here as well. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to be staying out here for as long as I do. It feels... It feels oppressive. Yeah, I don't like that. So what... Are we meant to take you? I see. Yeah, you're in the... Um, pallet over here. Okay, well, we'll bring those deliveries in. You can also hear like coyotes or... I'm getting the sense that being inside the restaurant is the place to be, right? Like we don't want to be outside at all. So the more rubbish that we accumulate... Oh. Really, I have to do every... I mean, I suppose it's like life. I'm hearing thunderstorms in the background, which can't be good. But I like the attention to detail. I Yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. Right, so we've got another trash bag to take out. Not liking that. Don't like going outside, especially when you've just heard the thunderstorms. We can be quick about it. That gave me $5. Great. Yeah, we'll, we'll close you. And I like the little dream weavers. Capturing the evil spirits, right? Is that what that's supposed to be? Okay. The jukebox is only played once, which I like. Okay. Bringing us in. Hearing noises. You goddamn machine. We heard. I'm hearing whisperings from outside as well. But we're not going to look outside. Because that's where the devils are. That's where the demons are. I can't see you because the blinds are down. That was my first protocol. Oh, God damn it. Right. Let me get my work, you know? Ah, oh, really? They're coming thick and fast now. Yeah. We'll, we'll get to you. You're just going to play another one now? Really? How do I stop this? Or oh, don't like the uh, distortion going on. Okay. So the... Ah, oh, the jukebox is teleporting around? Come on, come on now. 
Oh no, I'm outside. Yeah, the walls are a howling. Let's get inside. Oh, it's back to normal. This is fine. This is okay. Everything's okay. What? I don't know what that was. I don't know what happened there. It was too dark to see anything. The light is good. Maybe I should read this Bible now. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Is it a blood red moon? Did we see? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little snifty out. No, no. Oh no, let me in, let me in. Yeah, it really doesn't want you to be outside, and I like that. I like the, the tension you feel by being outside. We're just gonna go back to our duties. We're gonna go back to our thing. Ah, dishwasher is full. Can I put this down here? Um, so I need to do this again, right? So while that's happening, there were some splooges on the table. How do I... Oh, I see. Do I... Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I noticed... Can we... Yes. Five cents, eh? What are you giving me? Uh, there was one here. Oh... Don't like this. Um, I'm in the office now? Did I find the red key? Let's put you down. I don't think we're going to need you for the moment. Can't put you down, huh? Let's just leave you there. Right. I just realized I haven't used my flashlight at all. I think we're okay. It's, it's quite a well-lit game when you have the, the lights on. Okay. What do we have here? The pastor's sermon. Beloved brothers and sisters. Oh dear. We all share in the pain with the Anderson family, whose barn burned down during yesterday's horse theft by the engines. Let us remember to support them with kind words and a helping hand. Above all, do not be afraid. God is a just judge who rewards good and punishes evil. Today, during prayer, I was inspired and understood that justice must be carried out by our hands. We cannot stand idly by while the savage scourge destroys what we have created with our own strength for the glory of the Most High. Remember, beloved in God, brothers and sisters, the words of Moses preparing the Israelites to enter the Promised Land. When the Lord your God has delivered them over to you, and you have defeated them, then you must destroy them totally. Make no treaty with them, and show them no mercy. I invite all the men present here to a meeting that will take place immediately after the service at my home. May the good Lord keep you in his care. Amen. Okay then. So the pastor was a bit of a badass. I'm feeling this kind of... Is the restaurant built on Indian burial ground? Is that what this is going to be? Because I'm getting those vibes. I'm also getting the vibes that the pastor did some bad shenanigans. Um, well, let's... Can I crouch? I can crouch. Oh, it's just a bone saw. You know, like you, like you get. What about the other one? Ah, what's, what is... Oh, no. Oh, we have a little safe down here. No, can't interact with that. Can I interact with anything else here? Ah. Oh, what do we have here? So this would be his parish, I guess. The parish, yeah. Yeah. It was, the diner was once uh, a church where men killed a lot of people, is the vibe I'm getting. Um, I have not yet seen a four-digit code. Old newspaper. Family Dark Secret. Does she come... F does she comes for revenge? Revenge? Does she comes for revenge? Old owner of church is suspected of involvement in the murders of Native American children. Wow. Um, yeah. Yeah. Evidence suggests his wife may have aided him, though conflicting reports indicate try to intervene, experts invade... Right. Oh, dear. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. 
need to find the red key. The red key, can we? Aha. 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 Eternal Shadows, 1835. They call him 666. The murder of the pastor's wife and daughter remains of... Oh. So this has been like a, a blood feud war going on, right? The engines call, maybe kills, and this must be the pasta. Oh. I don't think I need that. We'll just put that down. So, oh, what was it? I didn't even... 1835. Okay. We're getting out of here. Damn it. Strange letter. If you are inside office, read. No one should open the office door on a bloody moonlight midnight night. But if you're already inside, listen. There's a painting with a pastor's portrait on the wall. Just come closer and look into his eyes. Ah. Uh. Okay. That's the same newspaper. Oh, what's this over here? I didn't see this. Can we call someone? So I'm guessing to, to get out, we need to we need to look into the past. You have broken rule number zero. This is a demo version. Support us by purchasing the full version and join the Discord. Um, what was rule number zero? Don't open the door. Just want to have a little investigation while we're... The bus is going to go. Is the bus going to go? The bus is going. Ah, uh, it brings you back. It brings you back. Well, there you go, guys. That was Creepy Shift, Volume 1, Roadside Diner, the demo. Um, I actually really enjoyed that. Um, if you're a member of this channel, if you've subscribed, and I, I thank you for already doing that, but if you haven't, then you'll know that uh, we've played. A, I've played a lot of games like this in the past where, you know, you do the kind of routine maintenance, you kind of wash up and everything like that. But this had some, yeah, this really kept me enthralled. Um, it really gave you that foreboding sense not to go outside. Uh, with the kind of the walls or the jackals or whatever they were outside, you know, calling and and it seemed that every time that we were making some hard-earned money, the the noises were getting louder. I like the fact of the the kind of special mission of you know keeping the, the jukebox machine off and then it teleporting. Um, I feel like there's going to be some like, cosmic horror related to this. So yeah. I really enjoyed that. Um, I may even play the full game when it comes out. Uh, if you've noticed on the channel as well, there's been a lot of demos that we've been playing. This is because Steam's doing the next fest, uh, where a lot of demos that are for games that are coming out either relatively soon or in the first quarter of 2005. Uh, 2005. Where the hell am I? 2025. Um, that would be the reason. So. I hope you've been enjoying it, and if you've uh, stayed until this far into the video, thank you very much. And if you're not already, please subscribe. It means the world to me. Well, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.